Namaste, welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. Today we will see how to make a home style traditional meal, simple yet very tasty, suitable for a rainy day. First we will make Kothamalli Tokku. Kothamalli refers to coriander leaves and Tokku is a kind of pickle or chutney which you can use as a side dish for many things. You can use it with idli, dosa, chapati, you can even spread it on bread. Uh, today we are going to have it with hot rice or so steaming hot rice and this Tokku a little bit of uh, sesame oil and we will mix it have a lovely rice. Let's make the Tokku first. Here I have a large bunch of coriander leaves which I have cleaned. These are the leaves and also I have taken the stalks as I told you in my earlier video. We are going to use that to grind it. Wash it very well and drain it thoroughly. Now I have just taken half the quantity of coriander leaves. We will add it in batches and I have about 7 or 8 dry red chillies. Also one lemon size piece of tamarind, remove the seed and any fiber if there is. Add some turmeric powder to this. We will grind everything to a fine paste. Now I am adding the remaining coriander leaves also. You can add a little bit of water while grinding but make it a thick paste. We will also add salt to taste. See our coriander paste is ground and ready. For this, it's good idea to use thill oil or sesame oil. Take about 2 to 3 tablespoons. When the oil is hot, add a spoon of mustard seeds. Next, add some crystals of hing or hing powder. Also, if you have, you can add. To this, now add this ground coriander paste. Now mix it well and allow it to continue cooking till the till it becomes thick that is the water is removed and the oil floats on top. This might take about 6 to 7 minutes. Meanwhile you can take about half a teaspoon of methi seeds, dry roast it and we will make it into a powder. When the seeds turn a golden brown, switch it off, allow it to cool and make it into a powder in your blender jar. I always keep some uh, large quantity of this methi powder ready with me to add in any of these tokus or pickles. And uh, another side dish we are going to make using this cluster beans also known as Kottavaranga in Tamil or Gavarfali in Hindi. So I have trimmed the edges, chopped it into pieces, washed and kept it ready. We will just make a dry sabji using this. So take about uh, 3 teaspoons of oil in a pan. Add some mustard seeds, urad dal, 2 dry red chillies, a little bit of hing, when the dals are brown add in this dark red color cluster beans. Add a pinch of turmeric powder and some salt to it. Now we will just add a little bit of water. Cover it and cook it on a medium flame till done. Meanwhile have a look at our tukku. It has become quite thick and started leaving the sides. If you want you can add just another uh, another one tablespoon of oil to this and allow it all to come together for another two to three minutes. Finally add about a quarter teaspoon of this methi powder of this dry roasted methi powder and give it a good mix. Methi powder will add a very good aroma and also it too acts as a preservative. Finally add just one more tablespoon of thill oil on top. Now 
just stir it for about a minute or so see you can see the oil being uh, it's leaving out the oil at the sides and it has become quite thick also at this stage you can switch it off be a little bit generous with the oil because oil is the main preservative here you can keep it in the fridge for about a week and enjoy the taste now i'll switch this off when cool store it in clean dry glass jars now let's have a look at our uh, kothavaranga curry see all the water is absorbed and the vegetable is also well cooked finally add in a tablespoon of fresh grated coconut and it is done now we are ready to serve out our home style lunch we have our kothavaranga or cluster beans poriyal or curry now i am serving out the steaming hot rice so first on top of the rice you add some of this kothamalli thukku and some till or sesame oil on top those who want can even add with ghee but sesame oil gives a good flavor and just mix it with the rice like this and enjoy the awesome taste of kothamalli thukku rice or if you are with curd rice you can just have some of this thukku as a side dish and enjoy it with the vegetable too you can store the remaining thukku in the fridge it will stay good for a week to 10 days if you want longer shelf life want to keep it outside then you need to add plenty more oil so that there is at least half an inch layer of oil on top of the thukku but today we have not used that much of oil so this is good enough for storing in the fridge and if you are not a person who eats rice enjoy it with chapati enjoy it with dosa or idli too it's excellent Thank you for watching the video please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen thank you